Also today, the project of the Quad Cities is unveiling a documentary that raises awareness about a disease affecting millions. News 8's Charles Hart joins us in studio this morning with the importance of this film. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, Devin. This will be at the Figgy Art Museum, taking us into the history of HIV and AIDS in our area, and will feature local people currently living with the disease. The project of the Quad Cities says the recorded history of HIV in our community is very limited. So their hope is that among the experiences, this documentary creates something that can be referenced for years to come. And the social services group was granted $10,000 from pharmaceutics company Gilead Sciences to put towards production costs for the film. Staff hope people realize the illness is still a concern today. So many people think that HIV is a relic of, of the past, that it is done and over with and that it's a problem or a disease that has been solved and that's not the case at all. The progress has been immense in terms of, of medication and treating people, but we still have people who are becoming HIV positive today. The film is free to attend and is just under an hour long and it will be shown at the Figgy today at 6.30 p.m. and will be available online after the premiere. Devin, back to you. All right, thank you, Charles. And according to the World Health Organization, towards the end of last year, there were roughly 39 million people around the world who were diagnosed with HIV.